Today we're diving deep into a strange bird in the investing world, a high-dividend ETN, called SCDL. Now, according to ETF.com, this thing just delivered a 10% return in a single month. But hold on a second. Is this the key to easy money, or is there something more to the story? We'll be cracking open SCDL to see how it works, the potential risks involved, and whether it can really become your personal dividend machine. So buckle up, because this might not be as simple as it seems. Stick around to find out if SCDL is the golden goose or a ticking time bomb. Let's get started. What is SCDL ETN? SCDL actually isn't an ETF, exchange-traded fund, but an ETN, exchange-traded note. There are some key differences between the two. Structure, ETFs hold a basket of underlying assets, stocks, bonds, etc., while ETNs are debt obligations issued by a bank that track an index or benchmark. So, with an ETF, you own a piece of the underlying assets, whereas with an ETN, you're essentially lending money to the issuer in exchange for returns based on the tracked index. SCDL explained, at tracks 2x leveraged U.S. dividend factor TR ETN. Here's a breakdown of SCDL ETN. At tracks, this refers to UBS's brand name for their exchange-traded products. 2x leveraged, this means SCDL aims to deliver twice the daily return positive or negative, of the underlying index it tracks. It amplifies gains and losses. U.S. Dividend Factor The focus is on U.S. companies with a history of paying dividends. TR, Total Return This indicates the ETN tracks the total return of the index, including reinvested dividends. Key Features of SCDL ETN Tracks Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 TR USD Index. This index holds 100 U.S. companies with a 10-year history of paying dividends, excluding real estate investment trusts, REITs. It's market cap weighted, meaning companies with larger market capitalizations have a bigger influence on the index performance. Leveraged Returns Since it's 2x leveraged, SCDL aims to magnify the daily performance, up or down, of the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 TR USD Index. This can lead to amplified gains, but also magnified losses. No dividends, unlike the underlying companies that pay dividends, SCDL ETN itself doesn't distribute any dividends to investors. Things to consider before investing in SCDL ETN. Higher risk, leverage inherently increases risk. While it can magnify gains, it can also magnify losses. Focus on short-term performance. Leveraged products like SCDL are better suited for short-term bets on the index's direction, as the compounding effect of volatility can erode returns over longer periods. Fees. There are management fees and expense ratios associated with holding SCDL ETN, which can eat into returns. Issuer credit risk. Unlike ETFs that hold the underlying assets, ETNs are debt obligations of the issuing bank. So, there's a layer of credit risk if the issuer defaults. Who is the target investor for SCDL ETN? SCDL ETN is not suitable for all investors and has a specific target audience due to its inherent risks and characteristics. Here's a breakdown of the investor profile most likely to consider SCDL ETN. Risk Tolerance Aggressive investors, SCDL ETN is geared towards investors comfortable with a high degree of risk. The 2x leverage amplifies daily returns, magnifying both potential gains and losses. Investors with a low risk tolerance or those nearing retirement shouldn't consider SCDL ETN. Investment Objective Short-term trades, SCDL ETN is better suited for short-term bets on the performance of the underlying high-dividend index. The leveraged nature can be beneficial for short-term gains if the market moves favorably. However, due to compounding effects of volatility, 
holding SCDLETN for long periods might erode returns. Understanding of leveraged products Knowledgeable investors Investors unfamiliar with leveraged products like ETNs shouldn't invest in SCDLETN. It's crucial to understand the mechanics of leverage and its potential impact on returns before considering this product. Specific Investment Goals Amplifying Dividend Exposure SCDLETN might appeal to investors seeking magnified exposure to high-dividend stocks. However, it's important to remember that SCDL itself doesn't pay dividends. It tracks the total return of the index, including reinvested dividends. Is SCDL ETN suitable for all investor risk tolerances? No, SCDL ETN is not suitable for all investor risk tolerances. It is specifically designed for investors with a high risk tolerance due to several key factors. Leveraged Exposure SCDL ETN is a 2x leveraged product, meaning it aims to deliver twice the daily return, positive or negative, of the underlying index it tracks. This magnifies both potential gains and losses. For risk-averse investors, even a small downward movement in the index can result in significant losses in their investment. Volatility The leveraged nature of SCDL ETN inherently increases its volatility. The price can fluctuate significantly more than the underlying index, leading to amplified swings in the value of the investment. This volatility can be stressful and difficult to manage for investors with a low risk tolerance. Focus on short term performance. While leverage can magnify gains in a rising market, it can also magnify losses during a downturn. SCDL ETN is better suited for short term bets on the index's direction. However, for long term investors, the compounding effect of volatility can erode returns. Investors with a long-term horizon are typically better off with non-leveraged options that capture the underlying performance without the volatility risks. Issuer Credit Risk Unlike ETFs that hold the underlying assets, ETNs are debt obligations of the issuing bank, UBS in this case. So, there's a layer of credit risk if the issuer defaults. While UBS is a reputable bank, even a small credit risk might be unacceptable for risk-averse investors. Briefly describe the underlying index that SCDL ETN tracks. The underlying index for SCDL ETN is the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 TR USD Index. Here's a breakdown of its key characteristics. Focus, High Dividend U.S. Companies the index targets 100 U.S. companies with a history of paying dividends for at least the past 10 years. Real Estate Investment Trusts, REITs, are excluded from the index. Selection and Weighting The index uses a fundamental weighting methodology. This means companies with stronger financial ratios related to dividend sustainability have a bigger influence on the index performance compared to companies with weaker ratios. This approach aims to favor companies with a higher likelihood of maintaining or increasing their dividend payouts. The index is market cap weighted. This means the weight of each company in the index is proportional to its total market capitalization. So, larger companies by market value have a greater influence on the overall index performance. Total Return Index the TR, total return, in the index name signifies it tracks the total return of the underlying holdings, including reinvested dividends. This means any dividends paid by the companies in the index are reinvested back into the index, reflecting the compounded effect of dividend growth over time. Performance Benchmark the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 TR USD Index serves as a benchmark for the performance of large-cap U.S. companies with a focus on dividend payouts. It reflects the combined performance of these companies, including both stock price appreciation and reinvested dividends. How does SCDL ETN achieve its exposure to the underlying index? 
SCDL ETN, unlike ETFs that hold the underlying assets directly, achieves its exposure to the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 TRUSD Index through a synthetic replication strategy. Here's how it works. Swap Agreements SCDL ETN enters into swap agreements with financial institutions, counterparties, like investment banks. These swap agreements aim to mimic the return, positive or negative, of the underlying index. The specific details of the swap agreements are not publicly available. However, they likely involve the exchange of total returns between SCDL ETN and the counterparty based on the performance of the index. Underlying Holdings of the Counterparty To hedge their exposure under the swap agreements, the counterparties likely hold a basket of assets that closely resemble the holdings of the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 TRUSD Index. This could include stocks of the companies in the index or financially engineered instruments that track the index performance. Benefits and Risks of Synthetic Replication Efficiency Synthetic replication can be more efficient than physically holding all the underlying assets, especially for a large and complex index like the one SCDL tracks. It can also potentially reduce portfolio tracking error, the difference between the ETN's performance and the index it tracks. Counterparty risk A key risk with synthetic replication is the creditworthiness of the counterparty. If the counterparty defaults on its obligations under the swap agreements, SCDL ETN investors could face losses. UBS, the issuer of SCDL, is a reputable bank, but even a minor credit risk might be a concern for some investors. Transparency, the specific details of the swap agreements are not publicly available, making it difficult for investors to fully understand the underlying risks and potential returns of the ETN. Does SCDL ETN have a fixed maturity date? No, SCDL ETN does not have a fixed maturity date. Unlike some debt instruments like bonds that mature on a specific date, SCDL ETN is designed to be an open-ended investment product. This means it has no predetermined expiration date and will continue to trade on the exchange as long as the issuer, UBS, decides to offer it. Here's a breakdown of SCDL ETN's open-ended nature. Continuous Trading SCDL ETN trades continuously throughout the trading day on the exchange where it's listed. Investors can buy or sell shares on the secondary market, just like any other stock. Perpetual Existence Unless terminated as long as UBS chooses to keep SCDL ETN listed, it will continue to exist and track the underlying index. The issuer has the right to terminate the ETN at any point, but they would need to communicate this decision well in advance to allow investors to redeem their shares. Focus on long-term tracking. The open-ended structure allows SCDL ETN to track the performance of the underlying index for an indefinite period. This is suitable for investors seeking long-term exposure to the performance of high-dividend U.S. companies but it's important to remember the inherent volatility due to the 2x leverage. Factors to consider Issuer decisions While there's no fixed maturity, the issuer can decide to terminate the ETN at any point. This could happen due to various reasons, such as low trading volume or changes in market conditions. Investment Strategy SCDL ETN's open-ended nature makes it suitable for long-term investors seeking leveraged exposure to high-dividend U.S. stocks. However, due to volatility, it might not be ideal for all investors. What is the liquidity of SCDL ETN like? The liquidity of SCDL ETN depends on a few factors. Trading volume the primary indicator of SCDL ETN's liquidity is its average daily trading volume, ADTV. This refers to the number of shares typically traded on an exchange each day. A higher ADTV indicates more active trading and easier buying and selling of shares. Unfortunately, specific trading volume data for SCDL ETN might not be readily available on all financial platforms. 
However, you can often find this information on the product page of the exchange where it's listed or on financial data websites. Underlying Index Liquidity The liquidity of SCDL ETN is also indirectly affected by the liquidity of the underlying assets in the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 TR USD Index. If the index holdings are highly liquid stocks with a large number of shares outstanding, it's generally easier for the counterparty to hedge their exposure through swap agreements, potentially improving the liquidity of SCDL ETN. Market Conditions Overall market conditions can also impact the liquidity of SCDL ETN. During periods of high volatility or lower investor interest in leveraged products, the trading volume of SCDL ETN might decrease, making it less liquid. How does SCDL ETN fit into an overall portfolio allocation strategy? SCDL ETN suitability for an overall portfolio allocation strategy depends on several factors, including your risk tolerance, investment goals, and overall portfolio composition. Here's a breakdown of how SCDL ETN might fit into different portfolio approaches. Aggressive investor with high risk tolerance. For investors comfortable with a high degree of risk and seeking magnified exposure to high dividend stocks, SCDL ETN could be a small allocation within a well diversified portfolio. The 2x leverage can amplify potential gains, but also magnify losses. This volatility might not be suitable for all aggressive investors. Income oriented investor. While SCDL ETN tracks an index of high dividend stocks, it doesn't itself distribute any dividends. Investors seeking current income from dividends might be better off with dividend paying stocks or ETFs that focus on current income rather than total return. Long term investor The leveraged nature of SCDL ETN makes it less suitable for long term investment horizons. The compounding effect of volatility can erode returns over extended periods. Investors with a long-term focus are better suited for non-leveraged options that track the underlying index. Portfolio Diversification Due to its concentrated exposure to high-dividend stocks and leveraged nature, SCDL ETN should only be a small portion of a well-diversified portfolio. Diversification across asset classes and sectors helps mitigate risk. Alternative Investment Options Here are some alternative investment options to consider depending on your goals. Standard High Dividend ETFs These ETFs track high dividend stock indexes without leverage, offering exposure to dividend-paying companies with lower volatility. Broad Market ETFs For broader diversification and lower risk, Consider ETFs that track major stock market indices. Individual stocks. Researching and selecting individual dividend-paying stocks allows for more control over your investment choices, but requires more effort. What are the potential risks associated with investing in SCDL ETN? Investing in SCDL ETN involves several potential risks that need careful consideration before making any investment decisions. Here's a breakdown of the key risks to be aware of. Leveraged exposure. The most significant risk associated with SCDL ETN is its 2x leverage. It aims to deliver twice the daily return, positive or negative, of the underlying index. This magnifies both potential gains and losses. Even a small downward movement in the index can result in significant losses for investors in SCDL ETN. Volatility Due to the leverage, SCDL ETN is inherently more volatile than the underlying index it tracks. The price can fluctuate significantly more than the index, leading to amplified swings in the value of your investment. This volatility can be stressful for investors and can erode returns over time. Tracking error Tracking error refers to the difference between the performance of SCDL ETN and the performance of the underlying index. While SCDL strives to track the index closely, there can be discrepancies due to various factors like fees, 
expenses associated with swap agreements, and potential imperfections in the replication strategy. Counterparty risk Unlike ETFs that hold the underlying assets directly, SCDL ETN uses swap agreements with financial institutions to achieve its exposure. The creditworthiness of the counterparty is crucial. If the counterparty defaults on its obligations under the swap agreements, SCDL ETN investors could face losses. While UBS, the issuer of SCDL, is a reputable bank, even a minor credit risk is a concern for some investors. Liquidity risk Compared to traditional ETFs, leveraged ETNs like SCDL might have lower liquidity. This can make it difficult to sell your shares quickly at a desired price, especially during volatile market conditions. Lower liquidity can also lead to wider bid-ask spreads, impacting your entry and exit points. Issuer Risk Although less likely, there's a risk that UBS, the issuer of SCDL ETN, could decide to terminate the product. While they would need to provide notice, investors would then be forced to sell their shares, potentially at a loss depending on market conditions. Additional Risks These are some other potential risks to consider. Market Risk General market downturns can negatively impact the performance of SCDL ETN, even if the underlying high-dividend stocks experience smaller declines. Dividend reinvestment risk While the total return of the index is reinvested, there's no guarantee that future dividends from the underlying companies will be sufficient to cover the reinvested amounts. Currency risk If SCDL ETN is denominated in a currency different from your home currency, you might be exposed to foreign exchange fluctuations. How does SCDL ETN compare to other similar exchange-traded products, ETPs, that track high-dividend stocks? SCDL ETN falls under the category of leveraged exchange-traded products, ETPs, that target high-dividend stocks. Here's a comparison of SCDL ETN with other similar ETPs to help you decide which might be a better fit for your investment goals. Key Differentiator, Leverage SCDL ETN, as we know, SCDL ETN is a 2x leveraged product, aiming to deliver twice the daily return of the underlying high-dividend stock index. This magnifies both gains and losses. Non-leveraged alternatives, several ETPs track high-dividend stock indexes without leverage. These offer exposure to high-dividend companies, but with lower volatility, compared to SCDL ETN. Choosing between leveraged and non-leveraged options. Risk tolerance, if you have a high risk tolerance and are comfortable with potential amplification of gains and losses, SCDL ETN could be an option for a short-term bet on high-dividend stocks. However, for most investors, a non-leveraged alternative is likely more suitable. Investment Goal Are you seeking current income through dividends or capital appreciation through total return? Non-leveraged alternatives that distribute dividends might be better for income generation. SCDL ETN tracks total return focusing on price appreciation but not offering direct dividends. Investment Horizon Leveraged products like SCDL ETN are generally better suited for shorter timeframes due to volatility. Non-leveraged options can be more appropriate for long-term investment goals. How does the liquidity of SCDL ETN compare to the underlying holdings of its index? SCDL ETN's liquidity is likely lower compared to the underlying holdings of the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 TR USD index it tracks. Here's a breakdown of the factors affecting their liquidity. SCDL ETN liquidity Synthetic replication Unlike traditional ETFs that hold the underlying assets directly, SCDL ETN uses swap agreements with financial institutions to achieve exposure. The counterparty to these swaps might need to hold a basket of assets to hedge their exposure. The liquidity of SCDL ETN depends on the ease with which the counterparty can buy and sell these underlying assets. Market Maker Activity 
market makers play a crucial role in providing bid-ask quotes and facilitating trades for SCDLETN. Their willingness to participate in the market directly affects the liquidity of the ETN. Underlying Index Liquidity Large Cap Companies The Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 TR USD Index focuses on 100 large cap U.S. companies with a history of paying dividends. These companies' stocks are typically highly liquid, meaning they trade frequently with tight bid-ask spreads. Factors Affecting the Difference in Liquidity Complexity of Swaps the terms of the swap agreements between SCDLETN and the counterparty might add complexity, potentially making it less efficient to hedge compared to directly buying and selling the underlying stocks. Market maker risk Market makers might be less willing to provide tight bid ask spreads for SCDLETN compared to the underlying stocks, especially during volatile market conditions. This can widen the spread and reduce liquidity for the ETN. Are there any market impact costs associated with trading large blocks of SCDLETN? Yes, there is a possibility of incurring market impact costs when trading large blocks of SCDLETN. Here's why. Limited liquidity, compared to traditional ETFs that hold the underlying assets directly, SCDLETN, due to its use of swap agreements, might have lower liquidity. This means there might not be a readily available pool of buyers or sellers willing to absorb large orders without affecting the price. Market Impact Price Movement When you place a large order to buy or sell SCDL ETN, it can potentially move the market price against you. If you're buying a large block, you might end up paying a higher average price per share than the initial bid price as the order fulfillment progresses. Conversely, selling a large block might lead to having to accept lower prices than the initial ask price to find enough buyers. Market Maker Role Market makers play a crucial role in facilitating trades for SCDLETN by providing bid-ask quotes. When a large order disrupts the usual trading balance, market makers might widen the bid-ask spread to compensate for the increased risk of holding a larger position in the ETN. This can further increase your transaction costs. Strategies to minimize market impact costs Gradual order execution Instead of placing a single large order, consider breaking it down into smaller orders and executing them over time. This can help minimize the impact on the market price and potentially reduce your average transaction cost. Negotiate with brokers. Some brokers might be willing to negotiate commission fees for large block trades. This can help offset some of the potential market impact costs. Explore alternative execution options. Some brokers or electronic trading platforms might offer algorithms or other order types designed to minimize market impact when executing large trades. Here are some additional factors to consider. Order size. The larger the block of SCDLETN you want to trade, the greater the potential market impact cost. Market conditions. During periods of lower liquidity or higher volatility, market impact costs can be more significant. ETN popularity. If SCDLETN has a lower trading volume, it can be harder to execute large orders without affecting the price. Are there any actively managed funds that offer similar exposure to high-dividend stocks as SCDLETN? Yes, there are actively managed funds that offer similar exposure to high-dividend stocks as SCDLETN, but with some key differences. Here's a breakdown. SCDLETN Passively Tracks Index SCDL ETN passively tracks the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 TR USD Index. It holds no underlying assets directly and uses swaps to replicate the index performance. 2x Leverage SCDL ETN offers 2x leveraged exposure, aiming to deliver twice the daily return, positive or negative, of the underlying index. This magnifies both gains and losses. 
no dividends, SCDL ETN itself doesn't pay any dividends. It tracks the total return of the index, including reinvested dividends. Actively managed funds. Stock selection. Actively managed funds invest in individual high dividend stocks based on the fund manager's research and investment philosophy. They aren't restricted to following a specific index. Potential for outperformance. Skilled fund managers might outperform the market by selecting undervalued high dividend stocks or by actively managing the portfolio weightings based on market conditions. Management fees. Actively managed funds typically charge higher expense ratios compared to passively managed ETFs like SCDL ETN. These fees cover the costs of research, portfolio management, and marketing. Dividend distribution. Actively managed high dividend funds can distribute a portion of the dividends received from their holdings to investors. This can provide a source of current income. How does SCDL ETN compare to directly investing in individual high dividend stocks? Here's a breakdown of how SCDL ETN compares to directly investing in individual high dividend stocks. Investment approach SCDL ETN tracks the Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 TR USD Index, offering exposure to 100 large-cap U.S. companies with a history of paying dividends. Individual Stocks allows you to choose specific high-dividend stocks based on your research and investment criteria. You can build a diversified portfolio with companies across different sectors and sizes. Diversification SCDL ETN provides instant diversification across 100 companies, reducing your exposure to the risk of any single company underperforming. Individual Stocks requires more effort to build a diversified portfolio. You need to research and select individual stocks across different sectors and risk profiles to mitigate company-specific risk. Management SCDL ETN, passively managed, following the performance of the underlying index. Individual stocks, requires active management on your part to research, select, and monitor your holdings. You might need to adjust your portfolio allocation based on market conditions or individual company performance. Costs SCDL ETN typically has a lower expense ratio compared to actively managed funds, but higher than some broad market index ETFs. Individual stocks might involve commission fees for each trade you place, depending on your broker. Leverage SCDL ETN offers 2x leverage, amplifying both potential gains and losses. Individual stocks, no leverage involved. Your returns and losses are based on the individual stock price movements. Dividend distribution SCDL ETN doesn't distribute dividends directly. It tracks the total return of the index, including reinvested dividends. Individual stocks, some of the companies you invest in might distribute dividends directly to you, providing a source of current income. How does the dividend focus of SCDL ETN fit into an income-oriented investment strategy? SCDL ETN, despite focusing on high dividend stocks through its underlying index, might not be the most ideal fit for an income-oriented investment strategy due to several key factors. No direct dividend distribution. Unlike traditional dividend paying stocks, SCDL ETN itself doesn't distribute any dividends. It tracks the total return of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 TR USD index, which includes reinvested dividends from the underlying companies. Focus on total return. SCDL ETN's primary objective is to deliver twice the daily return, positive or negative of the underlying index. While the index considers reinvested dividends, you don't receive those dividends directly as cash flow. Amplified volatility due to leverage. SCDL ETN uses 2x leverage, aiming to magnify the daily return of the index. This can be beneficial for capital appreciation if the market moves up. 
However, for income-oriented investors, the volatility associated with leverage can be a major drawback. A significant decline in the index could erode the value of your investment and potentially reduce your total return. Alternatives for Income-Oriented Investors Here are some investment options that might be better suited for an income-oriented strategy. Individual High Dividend Stocks Researching and investing in individual companies with a history of paying and increasing dividends can provide a steady stream of income. However, this approach requires more effort in stock selection and portfolio management. Dividend-paying ETFs Several ETFs track stock market indexes specifically focused on companies with a history of paying dividends. These ETFs generally distribute dividends to shareholders on a regular basis. High-yield bonds While interest rates can fluctuate, high-yield bonds can provide a regular stream of income. However, they also come with higher credit risk compared to investment-grade bonds. Can SCDL ETN be used for income generation or capital appreciation? SCDL ETN has the potential for both income generation and capital appreciation, but it comes with important considerations due to its leveraged structure and lack of direct dividend distribution. Here's a breakdown of its potential for each goal. Income generation Limited suitability SCDL ETN itself doesn't distribute any dividends. While it tracks an index of high dividend stocks, you don't receive that income directly. The index reinvests those dividends, aiming to achieve total return growth. Capital Appreciation Leveraged Potential SCDL ETN's 2x leverage offers the potential for amplified capital appreciation if the underlying index of high dividend stocks increases in value. However, this leverage also magnifies potential losses if the index goes down. Key Considerations Volatility Due to the leverage, SCDL ETN can be much more volatile than the underlying index. This volatility can significantly impact your total return, making it less suitable for income-focused strategies that rely on predictable cash flow. Focus on Total Return SCDL ETN focuses on delivering the total return, price appreciation plus reinvested dividends, of the index. You might benefit from capital appreciation if the index value increases, but you don't receive the dividends directly. Alternative Options Income Generation Dividend-Paying Stocks Investing in individual dividend-paying stocks allows you to receive regular dividend payouts. However, this approach requires research and active management of your portfolio. Dividend-Paying ETFs Several ETFs specifically track high-dividend stock indexes and distribute dividends to shareholders regularly. High yield bonds, these can provide a regular stream of income, but they come with higher credit risk compared to investment grade bonds. Capital appreciation. Broad market ETFs, ETFs tracking major stock market indexes can offer potential for capital appreciation with lower volatility compared to SCDL ETN. Growth stocks. Investing in individual growth stocks with high growth potential can offer capital appreciation, but also carries greater risk. Strategies for using SCDL ETN Small allocation If you are primarily focused on income generation, SCDL ETN might not be the best choice. However, a small allocation within a broader income-oriented portfolio could provide some capital appreciation potential alongside dividend exposure through the underlying holdings. Short-term investment Due to volatility, SCDL ETN might be better suited for short-term capital appreciation strategies if you have a high-risk tolerance. However, be aware of potential losses. How does SCDL ETN behave in different market environments? SCDL ETN's performance can vary significantly depending on different market environments due to its 2x leveraged structure. Here's a breakdown of how SCDL ETN might behave in different scenarios. Bull market. Amplified gains. 
In a bull market where the underlying Dow Jones U.S. Dividend 100 TR USD index experiences a positive price movement, SCDL ETN's 2x leverage can magnify those gains. This can be beneficial for investors seeking capital appreciation. Example, if the index increases by 5% in a day, SCDL ETN would theoretically aim to deliver a 10% return, 2x leverage. Bear market. Exaggerated losses. Conversely, in a bear market where the underlying index experiences a decline in price, SCDL ETN's leverage amplifies those losses. This can be detrimental to investors and lead to significant erosion of their capital. Example. If the index decreases by 5% in a day, SCDL ETN would theoretically aim to deliver a 10% loss, 2x leverage. Volatile Market Heightened Volatility SCDL ETN is inherently more volatile than the underlying index due to the leverage. This means its price can fluctuate more dramatically than the index, especially during periods of high market volatility. This volatility can be stressful for investors and can magnify both potential gains and losses. Here's an additional factor to consider. Interest rates, SCDL ETN uses swap agreements to achieve its leverage, and the interest rate environment can impact these swaps. Rising interest rates can increase the costs associated with the swaps, potentially reducing SCDL ETN's returns compared to the underlying index. What are the potential correlations of SCDL ETN with other asset classes? SCDL ETN's correlations with other asset classes can vary depending on the specific asset class and current market conditions. Here's a breakdown of the potential correlations. Positive correlations U.S. Stocks Given that SCDL ETN tracks a U.S. high-dividend stock index, it will likely have a positive correlation with the overall U.S. stock market. When the U.S. stock market goes up, SCDL ETN's price would also generally be expected to rise due to the exposure to underlying companies. Negative Correlations Bonds Traditionally, bonds tend to have an inverse relationship with stocks. When stock prices decline, investors might seek the perceived safety of bonds, driving their prices up. SCDL ETN, with its focus on stocks, might exhibit a negative correlation with bonds, especially during market downturns. Neutral Correlations Commodities The correlation between SCDL ETN and commodities like gold or oil can be complex and depend on various factors. During periods of economic uncertainty, investors might flock to gold as a safe haven, potentially causing a negative correlation. However, high-dividend stocks in the ETN might benefit from their income generation potential during such times. All right, so we've reached the end of our investigation into SCDL ETN. Let's recap the key takeaways. SCDL ETN tracks a basket of high-dividend U.S. stocks, offering exposure to companies with a history of paying dividends. It utilizes 2x leverage, aiming to magnify the daily return, positive or negative, of the underlying index. This means it can potentially deliver higher gains in bull markets, but also amplify losses in bear markets. While SCDL ETN itself doesn't distribute dividends directly, it tracks the total return of the index, including reinvested dividends. Compared to individual dividend-paying stocks, SCDL ETN offers instant diversification but lacks control over specific stock selection. Who is SCDL ETN a good fit for? Investors with a high risk tolerance seeking potential capital appreciation with some dividend exposure through the underlying holdings. Those comfortable with short-term investment strategies due to the volatility associated with leverage. Who might want to avoid SCDL ETN? Risk-averse investors who prioritize steady income generation through direct dividend payouts. Investors seeking a long-term buy-and-hold strategy, as volatility might erode returns over extended periods. 
Final Thoughts SCDL ETN can be a tempting option for its potential for high returns. However, the leverage adds significant risk. Carefully consider your risk tolerance and investment goals before incorporating SCDL ETN into your portfolio. Remember, there's no guaranteed path to riches in the stock market. Always do your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more investment breakdowns. In the comments below, let me know what other interesting financial instruments you'd like to see explored. Thanks for watching.